Hi everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making this very simple cotton dog harness. And for this dog harness you are going to need two metal rings. And they can be any shape and really any size, but I'm going to be using two two inch metal rings. I'm also going to use a size F or 5 or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to be using some size 4 worsted weight cotton yarn. And this is just the Lily Sugar and Cream brand. And we're going to begin by attaching the yarn to our crochet hook using a slip knot. And once you have the yarn on your crochet hook, then we're going to work five single crochets around our metal ring. So to do that, you're going to insert your crochet hook in your ring. Then you're just going to yarn over and pull up through your ring, just like that. Then you're going to yarn over and drop two loops. And you're just going to repeat that four more times. And once you have your five single crochets around your metal ring, then you're going to chain one and turn your work. And from here, we're just going to place one single crochet in each of those five stitches. And once you have your five single crochets in place, then you're going to chain one and turn your work. And for this row, I'm going to work over my tail and I'm just going to repeat that last row. So if you want to work over your tail, then insert your crochet hook in your stitch and then drape your tail over your crochet hook like this. And then just work the stitch like normal. And you're just going to do that until you've hidden your tail. At the end of our row, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And from here, we're just going to repeat that last row over and over and over to build the body of our harness strap. And once you've gotten this to your desired length, then you're going to grab your other metal ring. And make sure you have placed a chain stitch at the end of your last row. And then you're going to insert your crochet hook back in that first single crochet stitch. And then you're going to insert your crochet hook in your ring. Then you're going to yarn over and pull up through the ring and your single crochet stitch. And then you're going to yarn over and drop your two loops. And you're just going to repeat that for every stitch in your row. And this part isn't necessary, but it will make it look a little bit more visually appealing. So we're going to chain one, and then working in these vertical loops right here, we're going to place our slip stitches. So what we're going to do to begin is to insert our crochet hook in our first single crochet stitch. And this is a little bit of a weird angle, so I apologize. And then you're going to insert your crochet hook around your first vertical loop right here. And then you're just going to yarn over and drop all the loops on your crochet hook. And now it should be a little bit easier. So what you're going to do next is insert your crochet hook around your next vertical loop and then through your stitch. So kind of the opposite order of your last stitch. Then yarn over and drop all the loops on your crochet hook. And we're just going to repeat that going all the way down our row. And when you're done, you will have one vertical loop left over. So from here, we're just going to cut and tie off our yarn. But before you do that, I do recommend trying this out on your dog first to see how it fits. And once you've confirmed that you've gotten this to the correct length, then you're just going to cut and tie off your yarn, and then you're going to repeat those steps again, just directly beside where you did before. And just make sure that you line this up so that your straps aren't crisscrossing. 
And once you are done repeating your second strap, it should look something like this. And please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this, and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me, and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.